So cube roots is kind of like finding the volume of a cube, but um, and finding the side length of the cube after we've been given the volume. But some, uh, most people get pretty confused on that stuff. For these problems, when you see this number next to the radical in the top left there, it's very small. Kind of looks like an exponent just on the wrong side. That's called the index. And A is the radicand or the number we're rooting. In this case, this is the cube root. And we can take the roots as high as we want to go, but there's not any special names for them after three as far as I know. Like a fourth root is just a root of four, right? There's no special name for it. Now cube roots, just to cover this, and again, we'll go over a little bit more detail later. So the, the cube root of A is the same as A to the power of one-third. So if that helps you, then it does. If not, then I hope it will eventually. All right, this one shows the cube root of negative 125. So since it's a cube root, we need three numbers that are the same being multiplied together to give us negative 125. Now in the last part, we said that we can't have negative square roots. But we can have negative cube roots. The reason that is, is because we're looking for three numbers multiplied together. And if we have three negatives multiplied together, then the answer is a negative. Because we would have an odd number of negatives being multiplied together. So 125, if we can find three numbers multiplied together to give us negative 125, then that's our answer. In this case, it looks like negative 5 is really our only option there. So negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5 is negative 125. So the answer to this is negative 5. Because we were looking for a triple right here, which was negative 5. Um, yeah, in your calculators, let's say that somehow you're struggling to find this cube root button like that. Uh, that's what that power of 1 third is for. But you have to be careful if you're going to put that in the calculator. So here's what I would do, is I would actually, since it's negative, I'd, I'd put 125 in parentheses like this. And then for some of you, you're going to look for this button like this. On other calculators, you're looking for this button. I, I may have those, those letters switched, not that it matters. And then you're going to push, if you have parentheses, you're going to need it. You're going to need a parenthesis, then you're going to need a 1, you're going to divide it by 3, no, and then you're going to need another parenthesis, and then you can push enter, or equals. Now when you do that, it should, the calculator should give you negative 5 right there, and that should check it off. Uh, of course, on a test, you'd want to show work, which would be fancy, it would be very nice. If your calculator works like this, I'm going to separate these. Um, the x is the number before it, so that's just the index. So you'd, you'd push a 3, because this one we want the cube root. And then you'd push your negative 125, enter. And it should give you that negative 5.